Welcome to a Soldier's Note channel. Before continuing to watch this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button, activate notifications, like, and share with your friends. Thank you. China's WJ-700 drone completes maiden flight, creates new drone combat pattern. Beijing, January 13, the maiden flight of WJ-700, a high-altitude, high-speed, long-endurance integrated unmanned air vehicle UAV capable of surveillance and strike, was successfully conducted on January 11, according to its developer, China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CASIC. Adopting multiple advanced technologies, the WJ-700 UAV is in a leading position at home and internationally advanced in terms of key performance indicators such as flight time, range, and payload, compared with UAVs of the same takeoff weight. Focusing on both domestic and international market needs in the next 5 to 10 years, the WJ-700 is characterized by high altitude, high speed, and high payload capability. It can perform a wide range of tasks on risky battlefields, including air-to-ground standoff strikes, air-to-surface precision strikes, as well as wide area surveillance. As a hit product among the advanced UAVs developed by the CASIC, the WJ-700 is currently unique at home and rarely seen in the world for its performance. It is sure to create new modes of UAV-involved operations and is to go into combat with the completion of subsequent system-level tests and verifications. China's WJ-700, a high-altitude, long-endurance, and high-speed armed reconnaissance drone said to be able to create a new pattern for drone combat, successfully conducted a maiden flight test recently, as military experts said the unmanned aircraft is characterized by its large payload and ability to launch large munitions from outside hostile anti-aircraft fire coverage zone. The drone integrates high altitude, high speed, long endurance, and large load capacities, and focuses on the domestic and international market needs in the next 5 to 10 years, according to a statement the third academy of the state-owned arms firm China Aerospace Science and Industry Corp. CASIC, sent to the Global Times on Wednesday. The maiden flight test, which took place early Monday morning, verified the correctness and feasibility of the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, system, laying the foundation for future production of the model, the Academy told the Global Times. The WJ-700 is the only high-altitude, high-speed, and long-endurance drone capable of executing both attack and reconnaissance missions in China, and is also a rare type in the world, the Academy said. It is capable of performing air-to-surface precision strikes in multiple situations such as standoff ground attacks, anti-ship, and anti-radiation attacks, the statement said, noting that it will create a new pattern for drone combat. Compared to other popular drones, the distinguishing characteristic of the WJ-700 is its large size, meaning it has an outstanding payload capacity that allows it to carry larger munitions like anti-ship missiles and standoff weapons that enable the drone to launch attacks from outside of an enemy anti-aircraft fire coverage zone, Wei Dongshu, a Beijing-based military expert, told the Global Times on Wednesday. Key tactical and even strategic battlefield hubs, including radar installations, warships, and command centers could be targets of the WJ-700, analysts said. The WJ-700 could deliver diverse combat missions in high-threat battlefield environments with its precision combat and wide-area reconnaissance and surveillance capabilities, the Academy said. After completing various system-level tests and verifications, it will be officially put into combat applications, it added. The Global Times learned from the developer that the WJ-700 UAV adopts a number of advanced technologies, and key performance indicators such as endurance, range, and payload capacity have reached the domestic leading and international advanced level of UAVs of a similar caliber. CASIC first disclosed the WJ-700 at Airshow China in Zhuhai in November 2018. Based on a poster at the 2018 Zhuhai event, 
The WJ700 has a maximum takeoff weight of 3,500 kilograms, with a maximum endurance of 20 hours. It is estimated that Chinese military use UAV sales would take up around 25% of the global UAV market by 2024, or 17 billion yuan, 2.6 billion dollars. The total revenue of Chinese military use drones is expected to exceed 110 billion yuan in the next 10 years, the People's Liberation Army Publicity Department wrote in an article on its WeChat public account on Tuesday. Chinese drones. China has been working on other drones to suit a range of needs. The AR-500B ship-based helicopter-style drone completed its maiden flight in November of last year at the developer's test facility in Yangshi, China. The new drone is expected to be used as a scout on warships and by the Coast Guard to assess situations and help with emergencies. According to the Chinese magazine Ordnance Industry Science Technology, the drone fills an important gap and could be used in swarms to provide better coverage for ships in the South China and East China Seas. The drone has a maximum takeoff weight of 1,102 pounds, with a maximum payload of 154 pounds. It can fly up to 13,120 feet and flies at a max speed of 86 miles per hour. In December of last year, another Chinese drone was announced as being ready for international sale. The County Route 500 Golden Eagle is a reconnaissance drone that can also be equipped with up to 18 missiles and is meant to be used alongside the VT-4 battle tanks. The company behind it, North Industries Group Corporation Limited, Narinko, has also shared that the drone has been specifically designed to be sold to other countries. He drone integrates high altitude, high speed, long endurance and large load capacities, and focuses on the domestic and international market needs in the next 5 to 10 years, according to a statement the third academy of the state-owned arms firm China Aerospace Science and Industry Corp. CASIC, sent to the Global Times on Wednesday. The maiden flight test, which took place early Monday morning, verified the correctness and feasibility of the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, system, laying the foundation for future production of the model, the Academy told the Global Times. The WJ-700 is the only high-altitude, high-speed, and long-endurance drone capable of executing both attack and reconnaissance missions in China, and is also a rare type in the world, the Academy said. It is capable of performing air-to-surface precision strikes in multiple situations such as standoff ground attacks, anti-ship, and anti-radiation attacks, the statement said, noting that it will create a new pattern for drone combat. Compared to other popular drones, the distinguishing characteristic of the WJ-700 is its large size, meaning it has an outstanding payload capacity that allows it to carry larger munitions like anti-ship missiles and standoff weapons that enable the drone to launch attacks from outside of an enemy anti-aircraft fire coverage zone, Wei Dongshu, a Beijing-based military expert, told the Global Times on Wednesday. China's latest armed surveillance drone has just completed its first flight after first making an appearance at the 2018 Zhuhai Air Show in Zhuhai, China. The WJ-700 is the fifth drone from Haiying General Aviation Equipment, a subsidiary of the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CASIC. China's new unmanned war drone has successfully taken its maiden flight. The WJ-700 armed reconnaissance drone can fly at altitudes of up to 12,000 meters 39,000 feet, has an endurance of 20 hours, and can reach speeds up to 700 kilometers per hour. The China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CASIC, did not disclose the location of the flight. According to China the aircraft is said to be able to create a new pattern for drone combat and first appeared as a prototype at Airshow China 2018. It is capable of surveillance over the sea or land, early warning, anti-shipping, anti-radiation, signals intelligence, and jamming. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments. See you in the next video.